So I'm not, not sure where the FUD's coming from with the short interest, but it went down according to M official NYSE data, and that's all that matters. If there's any S3 or anything like that giving you short interest data, they're full of shit, and it is not viable data. So as of right now, the short interest as per NYSC data, which is the exchange that it's listed on, is 6.775394 short interest or shares remaining to be covered, according to the official data. Now that's all we can go off of, right? So at, at this point in time, short interest doesn't matter because we're, we likely know that a lot of it's stuffed in, uh, in, in places under the rugs all over the market. So again, this is all we can go by. Just pointing that out. Um, this is one of the only things Fintel is good for is providing accurate short interest data. Now, this short interest data, this is daily Fintel updates. I, don't, I ignore this. This is all that matters to me, in my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Um, sh current short interest as of November 15th is 6775. 394 or 6.775 million, which if we do the the float calculation based on the, the numbers Let's see here 6775394 I'm going off the proxy numbers. That's all that matters 44 million 15% of the float is short according to the official data and take it for what it's worth. But any other numbers you're given, bullshit. So have a good one.